Rotary International was founded in 1905. The goal of Rotary International is to seek peace through service to communities. Service above self has been the motto of Rotary International. Today, there are roughly 30,000 Rotary Clubs in over 160 countries around the world. 1.2 million men and women are members in clubs that are all part of this unique international service organization. All clubs worldwide participate in various programs to fill the needs of communities. Each Rotary Club identifies its community needs and links up with other Rotary Clubs to match funds that provide a school, a deep water well, a library, a hospital, or whatever is needed for that local community. Thousands of projects are completed each year thanks to the generosity of Rotarians and friends of Rotary. Whether in Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, or even North America, there are community needs that Rotarians help fulfill. Through this spirit of service above self, Rotarians build a fellowship that create friendships that last a lifetime. Men and women in Rotary provide the opportunity to reach out, help, and give hope to others. This service builds trust, and trust builds hope. Hope that through international service, we can build a better world and create understanding and peace. This is the goal of Rotary International. This program is a window for you to see the projects supported by the Rotarians in your own community. Thank you, it's good to be back and with us this evening we have Daryl Mar Darryl Marshall who is our Rotary Chair here on RILA and our second guest is Julie Whitaker, an alumnus of our RILA program here uh, in this region of the country. And Daryl, I'd like to start with you. Could you sort of share with us a little bit of the history of how RILA evolved and what it's become over the world these last 10 or 15 years? Of course, Marty. As you indicated, RILA stands for the Rotary Youth Leadership Awards Conference and is a program of Rotary International where they seek to take youth, recognize the contribution of youth and their leadership example, and expound and expand on that through a different programs. RILA started in 1959 in Australia as a program of recognition for youth down there. In 1971, Rotary International made RILA an official program, and from that point it has just taken off, and in recent years there's RILA programs throughout the world. And I just happen to be fortunate to be the chairman of, a, of the local RILA program in the district. And what we try to do is to take the youth who have demonstrated leadership example, but not just example, but also potential. And these are youth do not have to be star athletes. They do not have to be straight A students. They don't have to be oh, student government leaders for that matter. They can just be any student that has developed some leadership potential or experience. And we, take, we want to take that and make, that, make them better leaders for their communities, their schools, their churches, whatever. 